You know I get a lot of emails, you know that, right? <laughs> Let me first start off by asking you a question. I don't know if you realize this or not. Uh, like some uh, large photography uh, YouTube channels, the ones that are always, uh, you know, shilling and pimping their garbage and have countless, endless affiliate links. Um, the thumbnail to their new video about some useless piece of trash that you shouldn't buy and they themselves don't really know anything about, but they've been paid off. You know, the thumbnail to the video is something like this. I know you've seen this before. Let me know. Or it'll be holding the product. Yeah? A YouTube photography channel to be holding the product. Let's just say this is the product. That's the thumbnail for the video. Yeah? Or there'll be two of them or three of them. They're looking at the product. I've been contact because right now, of course, not a lot of new, and it's a good thing. I mean, do we really need, we can take a break for like a year or so off the photography gear. There's nothing really new rolling out, as it were. We should be happy with the stuff we got. I mean, I certainly am. I mean, I'm happy with my GFX 50R, my GFX 100, XT4, so on and so forth. A lot of people are contacting me and uh, telling me that, uh, that these staged, um, videos are starting to get really lame very a lot of people are angry of course a lot of people are angry in general because and my income is way down too people's income is way down or it's in the dirt because of you know what's uh, going on in the world so more so now than ever before and i hear this from people in email and in comments and you know it's not directed at me because i don't sell anything and i don't have any affiliate people are mad and I've noticed, and I really, this is truthful, I, honest to goodness, I don't want to watch other YouTube photography channels' videos. I, I can't stand them. I can't stand, I don't have any respect for them. I really don't. And this doesn't refer to just one. It refers to several. I have zero respect for them. And um, people are telling me, you know, that people, these YouTube channels have gotten desperate because apparently their income is down too but unlike me who is rolling with it you know just like oh whatever you know that's that's life I'm rolling with it it's not easy these people have done the opposite rather than roll with it what they're doing is they're ramping up their shilling and click weaseling yeah they're ramping it up and a lot of people are noticing they're noticing pretty good it's gotten worse these these horrific affiliate link filled garbage videos not only is the video a commercial to line their pockets but they actually add commercials and advertising to the video so you got to watch a commercial before you watch the main commercial which is fake you know from fake from one end to the next my question to you is i mean are you sick of this whatever it is you think of me because i'm salty and i am salty right and I'm not, uh, you know, blowing smoke up your skirt. Hi, how are you doing? Click the like and subscribe button. I like you. I'm glad you're watching this video. Yay! <laughs> you know the videos that I'm talking You know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I've always led my life with the premise, most of my life, is that if the most reprehensible people out there are doing it, you should be doing the opposite of that. And that's how, really how I live my life. Almost all of it. I'm not saying that... Uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, uh, an Amish guy wearing a, a brim hat, because I actually don't have any respect for the Amish either, because they're, they're kind of, um, I don't say I'm perfect at all, but I am so glad I'm not like any of those people. I'm, I really, and people appreciate that. Um, recently I sold quite a few lenses, basically because my income is in the dirt, and, um, and I reached a lot of people, and they call me. Everything that I sold, I had to have people call me, and they're like, "Man, I never talked to you before." I'm like, yeah, yeah. So they say, "And I really appreciate you. You know, I know you're different than everybody else. You're a little salty and whatnot, which of course I know that I am." And they say, "I really wanted to say thank you for not being like those other people." I had so many people tell me that because I sold like a hundred and twenty some lenses and like a half dozen cameras recently. Yeah, and a lot of people told me that. 
And, uh, you know, I get emails from people that tell me that too, but it's different when uh, you're talking to people on the phone. Um, but a lot of people have been telling me recently how ticked off they are at these, uh, these unsavory uh, videos that people make. Oh my God! They're looking at. I knew all these uh, YouTubers too. They were talking about how great the Canon R5 is. Like, no, I know people that have had their hands on it. And they said there's a serious issue with the Canon R5. But no, no, no. The YouTubers are like, you know, their thumbnails are like this. You know exactly who I'm talking about. You know, I, I almost said several people's names, but I'm not going to say their names. I really wanted to make this video because I feel proud of the fact that I'm nothing like them at all. Even if someone hates me, they know that I'm not uh, selling anything. I mean, I have some <clears throat> sold some of my lenses recently, but I took a beating on all of them. I sold them so cheap, I took a beating on every lens. People were like, man, this is cheap. This is too cheap. How can you sell that? Well, I just want to list something to sell because I need something else. You know, I'll list it just dirt cheap and it'll just vanish immediately. No issues, no worries, no complaints. Nothing to complain about. I sold an Nikon D3 last night and I posted it on Instagram and Facebook. I sold it for... $300, low shutter count, two new batteries, and Nikon D3 I sold for $300, and $20 shipping, so $300. Bucks. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Um, but no, normally I don't ever sell anything. And I don't have shirts, and I don't have affiliate links, and... It's good to just, you know, after 6,300 videos, which is what I think I have, 6,300... You know, I'm proud of the fact that I'm not like these people that I have no respect for, that I absolutely consider to be undeniably reprehensible. They really are. They're underhanded. But they've gotten more desperate recently, and people have been reaching out to me saying, wow, you, you believe this nonsense? It's like, yeah, I can believe it, but... Uh, it's kind of good. I mean, 2020, of course, sucks for everybody of course, but it's kind of good that we can enjoy the wonderful camera gear that we already have, which is what I'm doing. I'm, uh, you know, part of my job is to test and review new stuff, and that's wonderful and all, but it's kind of, you know, if there's any silver lining to this horrible black cloud, is I'm kind of happy about the fact that, you know, I get to enjoy the stuff that I have, and of course now I don't have any money, you know, money is you know, the income is way down, and so now I have to, you know, struggle at the other two jobs that I have. So I feel like I have less time. I do work seven days a week, which really, really stinks. I don't like that fact at all. My birthday is in a few days, and for my birthday gift to myself is I'm going to take two days off. <sighs> that will cost me, but nevertheless... Maybe I shouldn't have made this video, but at least it's honest and straight from the heart. I'm actually not, I have my, even though I have my iPad open, I'm not reading anything from it. <laughs> I've got nothing scripted about this video on the, my iPad. So, anyway, hope you all have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you later. There's something in my eyes. I think it's allergies or something. Catch you later. Peace out. Okay, goodbye.